It's not uncommon to find out that your favorite actor is related to someone else in the industry. Looks like talent just runs in the family. We've got something similar for you in today's video. You won't believe who NCIS star Michael Weatherly is related to. We'll give you a hint. It's someone pretty popular and has managed to earn a name for herself through Netflix's heartwarming series, Virgin River. Let's jump right in and find out who she is. Michael Weatherly's character on the CBS drama NCIS, Special Agent Anthony Denozo, kept us all entertained for 16 years before he decided to leave for good in 2016. Recently, many have been rather curious in order to figure out whether the beloved actor will be making a comeback to the show anytime soon. Of course, we'll be more than happy to see him rejoin the show in one of the upcoming episodes, but seems like we've been watching a close relative for his for a very long time. That's right. This might come as a shock to you, but the actor is actually related to Alexandra Breckenridge. You might know her as Melinda Mel Monroe, the lead protagonist of Virgin River. Isn't that awesome? We're sure that many of you are surprised because both haven't really said much about their relationship on television, but be assured that they actually are related. Breckenridge is actually the niece of Weatherly and also happens to be his goddaughter. Now that's a killer combination right there. From the looks of it, she's made a pretty stellar acting career on her own. Next up, let's talk a bit more about their relationship. Breckenridge is the daughter of Michael's half-sister and surprisingly is only 14 years younger than the actor. Her maternal grandmother also happens to be Michael's mother, so it's safe to say that talent runs in the family. Alexandra, from the looks of it, decided to follow in the footsteps of her uncle and found a career for herself in front of the cameras. But it's pretty dope knowing that she didn't require much assistance from her relatives to give her any sort of help in the industry. The two don't really flaunt their relationship in front of the media, but it's pretty obvious that they're very close. In fact, Michael's wife even helped throw Alexandra a baby shower. Isn't that cute? The Virgin River actress even went on to say that it was heartwarming seeing her favorite women come together for her party. Give us a moment while we grab some tissues. Now let's take a look at her career. Although her most notable work is as the leading role in Netflix series Virgin River, Alexandra has also appeared in several successful productions before as well. These include her role as Jesse Anderson in The Walking Dead and Sophie in This Is Us. All of her characters are amazing and the way she carries them just makes them all the more special. If you haven't watched these shows, then just get right to it after this video. It seems that she found her breakout roles almost around the same time when Michael began playing special agent Anthony Denozo on NCIS. Alexandra landed several roles in popular teen romantic comedies such as She's the Man and Big Fat Liar. Again, these films are just all-time classics, but since then, she's moved on to much more mature works and is doing a pretty amazing job at them. Moving on, Alexandra also managed to become part of the NCIS CIS family. We can only assume that this was a pretty proud moment for both of them. And of course, their fans were probably over the moon. Even we feel as though it definitely was a moment to add to the family photo albums. Alexandra basically ended up appearing on JAG in 2004. This was essentially the show that made way for the creation of NCIS. During her brief role in the show, she played the character of a criminal and problematic friend belonging to petty officer Jennifer Coates' past. She is bent on making Coates' life miserable. And if you were able to catch this episode, we're sure that her compelling performance assured you that Alexandra is indeed a talented person. Lastly, Alexandra has made her affection towards Michael pretty clear. Now, you won't see them together very often or even hear them talk about each other, but the love they share is pretty clear. And besides, we think that this type of behavior is actually pretty respectful and shows how they don't depend on each other for success. In 2008, the Virgin River actor made a very rare comment about her uncle, telling the public how he had actually helped her out in her acting days. Now, now, isn't that wholesome? She went on to state that he, in fact, took on the role of being her mentor, which ultimately helped her achieve her lifelong passion. Alexandra also said, he can commiserate with me about whatever difficulties I'm going through, and he tends to have a lot of really good advice. Well, why doesn't that surprise us? Apart from this, she also gushed over how good it felt to be so close to her uncle, who also happens to be her godfather. To be honest, we're kind of feeling a little bit jealous. We hope that both of them continue to remain successful, and who knows, maybe one one day, they'll grace our screens together in some series or film. We've all got our fingers crossed. That's all we have for this pretty surprising connection between the two actors. Now, let's catch you up with what else is going on in their lives. Here's some other news. First up, Alexandra has many tattoos, but why do we rarely get to see them? The actress is particularly known for her massive number of tattoos. They can be seen when she's on a red carpet or the photographs she posts on her social media accounts, but there's hardly any shown when she's acting. Now, we get it that tattoos depend on the character she's playing. But here's the thing. When working on The Walking Dead, Alexandra's character
character was someone that had tattoos. But even then, she hid her real ones and went with the fake ones instead. Well, seems like she had her tattoos digitally removed or concealed, not only because of the requirements of her character, but also because they are personal to her. It can be said that they are a way for her to represent who she really is. Well, it's common for actors to express creativity through art. It seems like, in Alexandra's case, it's her tattoos. The actor has a fairy on her calf and upper back, which apparently was covered by the letter N. She even has a spider drawn on one of her toes and a swirl on her shoulder. Apart from this, Alexandra even has a crown tattooed on her arm. This sounds like quite the collection, doesn't it? Next up, seems like Michael Weatherly's sister didn't really like NCIS at first. Yikes! This definitely came as a shock to us. It's hard to hear that the show, which seems to have gathered legions of fans, might have had a hard time being approved by one of the star's family members. The 54-year-old actor is currently working in a legal drama at CBS called Bull. But before this, we all knew him as the wholesome Tony Dinozo for more than a decade. But seems like Michael himself wasn't sure about the success of NCIS. According to him in the early days, the episodes seemed to be lacking a few key ingredients. And in order to get a second opinion, he asked his sister to sample a few episodes. Turns out that she saw one episode and declared that it wasn't really her thing. That must have been harsh. Well, we're glad that Michael didn't take that to heart and continued working with the show. It's truly satisfying to see that the show slowly was able to win over its audience. Lastly, here's another family member of Weatherly's family. This time, it's Alexandra Breckenridge's daughter and Michael's great niece. The Virgin River star shared a pretty rare photo of her lookalike daughter on Instagram recently, and it just melted our hearts. The photo included Alexandra with her daughter, enjoying the view of a gorgeous sunset on the beach while sitting in a gazebo. The two were wearing matching dresses in the snap and were even sitting in the same position. They also seemed to share many facial similarities. This picture was taken back in 2019, but its cuteness is timeless. Her daughter, Billy, is now five years old. The star has two kids, a girl and a boy, but rarely posts their pictures on social media. And taking from how often she talks about her famous uncle, Michael Weatherly, it's safe to assume that she's a very private person. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of the connection between Michael Weather and Alexandra Breckenridge? Do you think we'll see them in the same production anytime soon? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this.